Okay, um, <laughs> for those of you who saw last time, uh, we were trying to get into champion, and we didn't make it last episode, so uh, hopefully we can this time. Um, we're actually starting off at a higher number, or a little number there, uh, not the rank. Um, we started off with more points than we did last time, so um, last time was not a totally useless attempt. Okay, so that's kind of annoying because that means that he's going to pick... Here, he's going to straight up pick a bunch of um, revival. So, what I'm going to do here in this situation is just take the same opener. Because if he's bringing Maid Chloe, then I'm just going to do that. Let's go with... Uh, where is... What am I looking for? I'm looking for MLCC. Okay. So he's gonna go kind of bruisery, I think. Um, of course, he's gonna take. Oh, okay. Well, there's that. Uh, of course, I think he's gonna, he's gonna take Arby. <laughs> right now, we don't really have another choice but to pre-ban the Angie, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so he doesn't have a lot of damage so far. Um, his last two picks are gonna be damage. Uh, so let's pick. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna pick Rem because she's pretty good into her because she can cleanse as soon as someone dies. Uh, we can't pick another grass because it leaves him open to fire Charlotte. Actually, let's do this. Hold on. Let's let's pick another grass and see if we can bait him. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we lost. He has no gear on. Um, ew, that's bad. Um, that's, that's really bad. <laughs> Please pre ban the Corvus. Uh, um... Okay. Oh, actually, that that's easy. Okay, so I think we're just gonna take Arby, right? Um, should we just take Arby? Would be good against this Arby or what's her name? Nah, let's just take Arby. Come on, this one. So we're getting rid of New Angie. Let's see what this does. That'd be funny, please. That'd be funny if he like just bans the Dark Corvus. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we lost because I took too long. I wasn't paying attention to the timer there. I was just like uh, doing whatever. Okay. So that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can beat him with three units. Uh, so turn one, the um, guy over there is just gonna hit us all because I think he should go first, right? Or no? Yeah, she's gonna go first, and then she's gonna boost him up, and then we're gonna get one shot. Um, which is fine. Oh, I'm, I have no idea what's going on anymore. I mean, I really feel like you should have moved her up, him up, but... Okay. Oh, and I also changed the build on... on Rem. So, Rem usually has about almost 1800 HP. Right now she's got 15 something, but I boosted her defense pretty drastically. Not that it's gonna help much. I mean, she's still probably gonna die. But, yeah, there's that. So this guy's a fast... Uh, what's his name? But... Let's see. So we can't really solo from here. Um... I'm gonna maybe play out like two turns, but I'm not just gonna like drag this out for no reason. Just wanna see how much damage I could have done there. Um, if she's gonna go, she's gonna heal everybody, and then it'll be my turn again. Maybe I can S3. I think, yeah, I should be able to S3 again. Um, but we're not gonna do enough damage. Uh, so, 
I feel like I probably would have taken. I might have taken RB. Yeah, I should have taken RB where I got Dark, where I got <laughs> Fire Corvus instead. Um, that would have been a lot better. Um, still probably would have lost though. Yeah, we're just gonna lose. Let's just get out of here. Um, so that Fire Corvus was like horrible. Well, that that one shot us, but that's fine. I mean, that's kind of what's gonna happen anyway. <sighs> yeah. It doesn't. So that what does that mean then? That means that it chooses the person at the top of the list instead of like the person you're currently looking at, which I think is like asinine on a level. I can't even fathom why it's designed that way. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, I don't make this game, and I don't make the rules. Great, that was so bad that we're like taking forever to get another game in. Kind of weird that a lot of people don't just like. As long as I'm holding the spear, I won't back down. Take him all CC first turn, but I mean they might not have her. But like, I don't just like anything, right? Like Crow, I feel like Crow is more of a counter pick. But I mean, I guess everyone's doing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on here. So he's probably gonna ban her. Um, this leaves me. I need to come up with some dark units here. Um, this would be a great time to just pick uh, Spectre Tenebria. Especially because, um, you know. This is too much healing already, or not too much, but it's like an annoying amount of healing. I'm gonna take a rem. And we'll take Arby. We'll see what he brings. He's probably gonna bring um, Violets, but I'm really more curious about what his other choice is. Because when you pick this much, like, non-attack in the first three um like this much support in the first three the, the the last two are very vital so basically it makes it so you are gonna choose one of the last two depending on like yeah i don't know we'll, we'll find out like, like i said okay so he's bringing her and who's the other person i can't let through because right now it's basically just gonna I'm just basically gonna ban the lqc but yeah so here's the other one um this isn't too bad. I think I'm just going to hit the LQC and I'll bring in... Who's fun to this draft? I need another dark unit. I'm just gonna bring Ken just because it looks really funny and I can't really think of anything else to bring. I really should, like, if I had Strays built, I'd bring him, or this is a good place to bring uh, Spectre Tenebria. But I don't have them built and I didn't really feel like um, trying it. Um, this is really bad regardless, though, because we're probably, like, he's gonna ban Landy. Yeah, he's gonna ban Landy, and um, now we're forced to deal with, like, all this support around to protect the, uh, protect the him, uh, him comp, so we're gonna. This isn't going to go very well, uh, I don't think. So unfortunately, we're going to S3 here, but this is going to get erased by... Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, An Amelia S3. Um, 
So who are you gonna kill? He might kill Arby just to get him out of the way. He's hitting her. Um, is she gonna die? She's not gonna die from this, but I don't know how much. I'm wondering how much damage she's gonna do. Yeah, it was all right. Um, I actually picked uh, this guy over here, and it shouldn't. That was like the poor choice to bring because I don't know why he pushed her back, but that's fine. Um, ML Ken is wasn't a good choice to bring because um, Crowd can just one shot him, and I think uh, that that. Um, and I'll Violet could probably one shot him too. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna kill you because you're getting on my nerves. And uh, we got the dual attack we wanted. Look, it's that uh, it's that guy from the end. Oh well, I, don't, I guess I can't. You know, I, <laughs> Uh, I was gonna spoil something there, but I realized that I was uh, that I was gonna spoil it. So I was like, oh, maybe not. Some people find it a spoiler. I, I just wanted to S three her because it'll be really funny. Okay. It's almost like he knew he was gonna get that dual attack off, and that's why he attacked her, which is pretty annoying. Oh, okay, well I guess he was that easy to provoke. That, I was kind of worried that he was going to crowd the, uh, the him, but... If he leaves Ken till the end, I feel like it, this isn't a good thing. He's going to S1 somebody. Uh, let's hit you. Can she has three already? Yeah, she can. That's fine. Uh, so now I'm going to S3 with um, Rem if I get the chance, which I won't because he's going to S3 her. And he didn't, weirdly enough. Uh, so now we're just going to do this. This should heal us back up to full because we have more damage, uh, even if we miss a few. Um, well, we don't have more damage, we have uh, less HP to fill up and. Yeah, so that was not very good. And now he's dead. So Rem gets her demon mode. I get a Soulburn S3 out of this. Hopefully I hit someone worth hitting. We haven't gabbed either, which is pretty annoying considering... Um, She's gonna soul burn this, that's fine. And I get the counter attack into defense break. <sighs> no. Come on, defense break. Yes, okay. Oh, she's just gonna boost her up, yeah. Oh no, she didn't. Weird. Oh, where are you here, buddy? Okay, he's not at S3 yet. He's gonna probably hit her. Maybe kill, I mean, at this point, yeah, at this point, you're gonna, gonna have to kill him. Um, let's just dump as much damage as we can into this Ruel, as long as she's free. She gonna, she's probably gonna heal herself, I think. Uh, yeah, she has the. Oh, actually, yeah, she's not gonna burn the S3 on that. Uh, now she's gonna S3. I'm probably getting. Oh, no, she's not. I'm probably really annoying. Um, just like repeating stuff that isn't true over and over again. Um, okay, so we get this. It's just cool. So hopefully, we're gonna kill Crown a little bit. So now Crow's gonna kill the Rem. He better because I don't know what else he's gonna do. Yeah, he needs to kill the Rem. Um, yes, yeah, so this is just a really bad decision. I really feel like I probably should have brought um, a better person here. Would have been just a green violet, because uh, then you know, like I'd have effectiveness on these two, effective damage on these two. Ooh, so I missed. Uh, who are you gonna hit? Okay, that's fine. She has the. <laughs> Fortunately, she has the skill nullifier. The pro. The other problem is like sometimes when you draft stuff with Ken in it, like it's too easy to just like 
Okay, I'm not gonna kill Ken. I'm just gonna dump all my damage into like S FCC, and she's just gonna sit there. Um, so you really like if you're gonna draft a, a draft around Ken, you need like units that are just gonna die really quickly, and then just like let Ken fight everybody. And I, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> he missed the crit on Ken on one of his damage dealing units. Like everything else in this entire game has crit against everyone else. Um, but then when it's time to hit Ken to crit him, nope. Uh, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna surrender. Let's not waste uh, their time, your time, and my time. Uh, that was a poor draft because I, I brought Ken just for the sake of it. Cause I thought it'd be funny, but um, obviously that was a bad decision. Um, he had too much single target damage, and I I need a Spectre to be rebuilt. Uh, we lo we lost that because I I like I said I don't have Spectre to Nibria and. Um, yeah, that, that, that's basically the main point, and I made a mistake in the draft, and I picked the wrong guy here. Um, it was too easy to just let Kennen, because like, especially because I don't have any uh, AOE attacks, right? Uh, but we just kind of figured let's make a poor decision for the memes. This background music sound reminds me a lot about a lot of um, what's that? What's that game? Uh, Smite's like loading screen music while you're waiting to play, like before and after. <laughs> I guess no one's playing RTA right now. I'll do more important things like farming the side story for that four molas. I actually need those molas. Um, who needs them more? Let's see. Right now, the person who needs them most. Yeah, actually, I mean, everybody needs mola across the board, but I forgot who was like the next priority. If anything, it's probably... Let's see, let's get you. Okay. Let's see if it picks Crow. I think that's like twice in a row. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're picking... Where are you? Yeah, I'm taking you. And we're taking you. Uh, it just occurred to me that that barrier goes on whoever has the highest attack, and she actually doesn't have that high attack. She's only got like, I don't know, what, 36 or something like that? Okay, so he's going. Okay, so this is getting kind of annoying. If he goes another. Okay, I was gonna say, if he goes another Soul Weaver, it'd be really annoying. I don't want to deal with another, like, protect the whatever comp. Um. So he's picking fire to deal with her, which means theoretically he's not going to, like, ban her. Uh, let's just take you. I'm taking Blood Moon Haste at the end. Oh, you know who would have been really good here if I had brought um, this guy? Oh, because I would just like nuke somebody, but that's fine. Okay, now we're bringing you. He has no damage except Rem, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna kill Rem. That's all I gotta do. Okay, this is fine. Um, put you here. And we will just boost you up with Amelia. So you kept in. I was thinking, I mean, like, I don't know. You're kind of in a rock and a hard place if you're if you're choosing between um Landy and boost you up. Landy and um Haste in terms of like picking uh, in terms of like uh, who to who to get rid of, because Landy and Haste both counter um, counter the, the Maid Chloe pretty hard, so you know, it's kind of like not none of them are ideal. Um, I have the EE on ML Crow, ML Crow's it that boosts. Um, that's gonna boost the RB up, so that's gonna be 
Uh, he's just gonna get a lot of CR constantly. Oh, that's not enough damage to need this, so I'm just gonna hit you and try to take off some of your buffs. And we got the counter, so... Not only that, but he's on I uh, Idol's Cheer, so we're gonna get that. Um... I think we should be fine. I'm not sure he has enough damage to kill the Arby, and I think Arby should have enough damage to, like, make this not ideal for him either. And not to mention, he's got that. <laughs> not, not that it's doing a lot of damage, but... Um, he gets uh, some stuns, some lucky stuns off, and we're gonna be in like some pretty good places. So basically, I just have to kill. I just have to focus down the rem because she's gonna be the only one that's gonna be doing really annoying uh, damage like this. Um, let's boost you forward. Hit you again. Let's do this again. She's gonna stun him. She's gonna try. It's really like, we're both kind of like... And she hit him instead. Let's see if she AoEs with this. So if she AoEs, I'm gonna get blinded, which is annoying. And he didn't. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, I guess he's worried about the heal that's about to come up. Um, because this isn't, this is in fact a, um, pretty annoying thing. Okay, so now if she counters, she's going to be doing a lot more damage than normal. Oh, okay, well, there you go. She healed up there. I didn't I actually have to check to see how much HP she has. Um, yeah, I guess she was like, I'm going to stun him. I'm not sure why, though. Okay, so my S3 is up again. Let's see if I will not get the stun because she's what's it called? Yep. I have not AoE'd enough to feed the Krowl, so this Krowl is like way behind. Okay. Let's boost up you. Let's just hit you. We're gonna take off the immunity theoretically here. Okay, no. Well, I mean, if, if we were going to I'd take anything off. So if she counters here, we shouldn't be too bad because then I can just um, heal with the with the Amelia. But she's gonna heal up. Oh, we got the revive and the immunity. Okay, so we're we're just like we're one hundred percent solid here. Um, because now I get to go, as soon as it's, uh, as soon as it's, uh, Haste's turn, he's gonna S3 her, and we'll be solid. This is the slowest, like, RB fight I've ever seen in my life, and it's because I built, like, I, I mean, it was kind of, like, unintentional. I took Landy in the first turn, so my first two turns were very, like, theoretically it was supposed to be aggressive, but... Um, I just found it interesting that I basically just built to protect this, uh, the RB comp, and then just kept hitting him until he died. Uh, if I end up winning, we'll see what happens, but, um... Yeah, he's just gonna do this. I think he's... does he get the heal? Seven? Yeah, uh... Yeah, he should get the heal, right? Okay, so she's, I guess she's fine. Oh, let's just hit him again with this. No! So he's gonna S3 maybe? Okay. We have like insanely huge barriers, so it's not like it's that big a deal, but... Okay. Yeah, hit that, hit that guy in the face. 
Uh, we're gonna get rid of his reviver. That was the thing. It was either I was gonna just hit Rem with the S3, um, or I was gonna hit her, and it was like, well, might as well hit her. Let's boost you up again. So I get to do this again. I was kind of worried I wasn't going to have enough damage, but uh, RB and Amelia, basically, I mean, basically it's like, basically Amelia is a second RB in that scenario, right? So, um, that's how that went. Not to mention, like, for one, you have constant AoE damage, and then, like, every so often, Haste is just going to hit somebody. Um, and he kept hitting, like, this, he really just should have focused Amelia. I don't know why he kept hitting on the Haste. Um, like... My haste is squishy. My haste is like 2300, 23k HP. Most hastes you're going to run into are going to be like 26, uh, 28. So it's like you're not going to kill him. Like, I don't understand. And you can clearly see that the CR was boosting Arby, and that's like, I just don't understand what the decision making was there. Uh, so he, he's getting rid of Maid Chloe, which means that he probably can't deal with revives to some degree. So maybe bring Arby. Um. But anyway, we're just gonna bring uh, Cecilia here. This is a formidable opponent. I feel like it's interesting because um, trousers is gonna be like more popular if we start getting more damage dealers that are like they can they can they can work as a lone damage dealer basically. If we start getting more of those, um, let's take where is Landy? We're gonna take Landy into this. If I can find her, if I'm not too dumb. She's right here. Taking Landy into this, and I'm taking... Uh, where is she? Let's take you, just to, just to piss him off. This may or may not, like, more or less, kind of make it so that... Um, I can probably ban the the S10A, but I don't know. He's taking RB, which is kind of what I want him to take because uh, then I get to take haste. And anytime I get to take haste, I'm just happy. Okay. So if he's not taking RB, then I'm taking RB. So we're taking RB. And really, there's no downside to just taking. Um, Okay, so we can either take Violet or we can take Ram. And I'm going to take Violet because um, he's not going to take Ram. Because there's already too many waters. If he takes Ram, I don't know what to tell you there, buddy. She's going to like. She just take the L on this one. So there's really, like, if you're in this situation, there's really nothing else to ban other than the Landy. Like, you really need to get rid of the Landy. Well, I guess you could get rid of the CC, and, it, like, it'll make it harder to hide Landy, but... I'm, again, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this. We're gonna try this, see what happens. Um, because I think it'll be really funny. Yeah, so this is, this is the other thing. You could either, um... Ban the MLCC or the Landy, one or the other. Um, I think he's still gonna have trouble here. But we'll find out. So of course he's gonna go first. He's gonna take first turn with Amelia because she should be fast enough. Oh, he actually took this guy took first turn. Okay, very interesting. So if he sleeps the Politus, we're basically screwed. Like of any of these units, the Politus is the main one that he can't really sleep, or else we're gonna die. Okay, so he slept the Politus. The reason the Politus was a uh, not because now he can do this. Uh, yeah, now we can do that. Um, now, the Politus wouldn't have, like, destroyed the whole team with an S2, right? But, I mean, you know, it still helps. Uh, so she can Soul Burn, which she's going to do. Because uh, if you're... If you run S10, you're probably unoriginal. So, I mean, that's all you kind of <laughs> know how to do is just turn first turn Soul Burn S1. Um, but that's fine. Um, so he's dead, and that's all right. Uh, so now we're also going to lose another unit. 
Let's see. We got S3, the Violet. And of course, I didn't dodge. Of course, you got put back to sleep. And now she's dead. Yeah, that's fine. We lost that one. The uh, the opening with ML Ball was kind of like too strong because we lost uh, we lost um, Landy and um, Politus, and he got to S two, and I didn't get to S two with mine. So, kind of is what it is. Uh, of course he landed the S3 on my Violet now. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, sometimes Violet um, solos 1v4 and then sometimes he just gets hit and then dies. Um, I feel like that was kind of like a... Um, that was an interesting move where, like, he decided to waste... Because the, the S3 is basically a guaranteed kill. Um, and to waste it on something like a Violet was like dumb it was like when something when you do something stupid and you don't think through something and it works out anyway that's kind of what that was um but it's fine at the end of the day I mean, sometimes you just lose rng um let's see the first turn the first turn Amelia is kind of annoying because I really wanted to take Amelia. As long as I'm holding this spear, I won't show them. Okay, so now that kind of locks us into more AoE. I think I'm just gonna take Vildred and Okay, maybe not Vildred. Let's take Rem. Yeah, I guess I'll just take Rem and like uh you. Um, I kind of want to take Vildred, but we'll see. This is interesting. Um, I think the only thing I have to... I'm not sure why he chose... LQC, but uh, I think I guess it's fine. <sighs> I do have some time to think. I don't know who to bring though because I kind of I think I'm just gonna bring uh, Kawazu um, to deal with the. Uh... Hmm. No, I can't bring Kawazu because you can just like. See if I bring Kawazu, we do this. I just bring you and uh, forget it. Let it roll. So we lost that. Uh, that's fine. We have a lot of damage. We have no mitigation. It it should be fine. Um, I'm not sure why he brought the LQC and the Kitty Armin. Uh, I guess we'll find out eventually. But um, the the thing is, um, the LQC has 15% damage reduction from her passive, and then the Kitty Armin also has 15%. So I'm not sure. Just one of those things where I'm not sure what the point was. Um. So theoretically, he's just gonna boost up the LQC. Yeah. So 
Gonna nuke somebody with the PC. Not sure who though. At least we don't get the splash. I mean, we have four damage dealers, so we could, you know, one of them can die, and hopefully we have enough damage with the rest. And there we go. That didn't do anything. That's fine. Okay, so uh, he doesn't have her on the on on Tiger Hell's tome, which is kind of weird. It's kind of what you normally bring in ring with her. Just heal this away. Um, let's, let's hit you. So he's gonna S. He's gonna S3 with her because there's no reason not to. And that leaves me. Unless he's. I guess he's gonna wait for her to cleanse. No, oh, that's a really bad decision. Um, because now she's gonna S3, right? And that leaves me open to S3 with my, uh, Mercedes. Right? And that gives everyone attack buff. Okay, so she's gonna S1 somebody, probably. Not really sure who. Yeah, her, I guess. She died, which is fine. Um, okay. So I'm gonna get the the S2 off here. Okay. Now I'm gonna just try to. Oh, actually, no, I don't have. I can't yet. Just hit you. Um. Not much else I could have done there. So the S3 is up, which means, uh, yeah, basically we're all dead. Oh yeah. So that was kind of the, the one thing I wanted most was to get rid of her. And there we go. Um, so she's dead. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's just kill you. Hopefully we can kill you. Enough. Uh, yeah, we. I think we have enough. Yeah, we do. That's 24. So let's see if we can just kill her with the S1 here. Oh, we're not gonna kill her. You know what I mean? Though. It's like, oh, we took a we took we took a lot of damage. 5k. How much? Yeah, we took a lot of damage from just like the hit, not the burn, the hit that she originally did. It didn't crit because we got to dodge, and we just took like a bunch of damage off of that. That was kind of weird. Uh, Rem got nuked out of existence, so that's kind of how that went. Um, but yeah, so, I, you know, kind of combination of, of poor draft decisions and, like, messing around earlier, um, <laughs> we ended up lower. So for reals, today was actually uh, not a very good day. So I think, I think I'm probably just going to grind it out for a bit and come back when we're in champion, because, um, like, there's no way I'm not going to get in champion. Like, I can see where, like, some of the stuff is going wrong, and, and as long as I'm just drafting better. Um, but yeah, so, you know. So take it easier out there, and uh, hopefully you guys make it to whatever rank you're looking for.